Well, hello and welcome back to Posh Cat's Cabin. We're in France and we've found some blue skies. There's been snow here and it's only about two or three degrees Celsius. Kev's wandering around with his camera as well, look. But we're parked together here on an air and I'll put the name of the air on the screen because um, I can't remember what it was called. But it's, um, it's a really large one. There's 21 spaces here, I think and 20 hookups. So you've got electric on this air. It's just outside the town and uh, in the town there were some shops, we just came through it on the way through. Um, there's some shops, uh, carry for, uh, filling station and an Aldi as well. So uh, it must be quite a good population of people in this town. It's quite spread out, it looks fairly spread out but it's not far from the motorway. We're here in the traffic going up and down the high street um, but I think it will be become quieter as the day goes on. Um, I'll take you over to the barrier. Um, the, the card, um, let me show you the card. i just cover my membership number up, but this is the camping card and you can get that online. It's uh, camping-car park and if you Google that um, you'll find the site. You pay for the card but as soon as you arrive at the air, you just wave it in front of the uh, um, sensor and uh, the barrier comes up. So the idea is that you load the card with money. So we've got about 30 euros on there at the moment. And I think this one is about 12 euros a night. And there's a uh, hookup just here. As you can see, all very modern. And uh, let's wander over to the barrier. I'll show you where we came in. Now I don't know how you, good your French is, but I think this is a, a historic site, it says. Uh, from 425, presumably AD, and there's a religious uh, things found on this site. But um, looks like it might have been a burial ground and also some artifacts found from way back. So that's interesting. But this is the air, we're, we're, we've come outside the air. Um, as you can see, uh, there's uh, people at the uh, gate there with um, where there's fresh water and uh, waste emptying. I'll show you that in a moment. But the, behind me here, there was a, well, there's a picnic area just here for um, people to uh, pull up and park. And this is the main road into the town. And then down here, there's toilets. Now, I don't know if they're open. I'm going to go and explore and find out. Well, yes, there is a pizza seller. There's one of these automatic pizza machines and uh, a drinks machine. And then there's another hut. Now, it looks like that's a community hut where they can sell fresh produce, like a little farm shop. There's nobody there today. But here are the toilets, and they are open. Um, you know, so that's pretty good. Um, and then there's a, uh, a waste emptying point there as well, which is very good. Okay, so that's the gentleman's there. All stainless steel, looks fairly clean and tidy. Uh, as you can see, uh, the main road here. There is another little area over there, and I think there's the same, uh, another toilet block over there as well on the other side of the road. And some uh, little commercial units. And lorry parking a little further down here as well. So that's quite nice. And then uh, towards the entrance, to the air just down here there is uh, recycling bins and then general waste as well uh, just just over here towards the entrance now this is the entrance apparently you can buy a card from here um, from this machine here and uh, all we did, because we'd already pre-purchased our card, we waved it in front of this sensor and it lets you in, this barrier. But here's the, uh, the waste drop and you've got fresh water on here and also around the other side is the black waste that goes in that spout right there. Perfect! As you can see, there's another van arrived since I've been walking around. But we're over the corner here and plenty of space and uh, 
It looks like it's lit at night because there's a floodlight over there. But we'll see. I'll let you know um, later on. We're going to snuggle up in the warm. It's quite cold this afternoon. Uh, we're here for one night only. It's a, a pass through. It's a stopover um, on our way down to the south of France. Good morning. It's um, around about 8.30 in the morning. We've um, been up and about this morning. It's minus six degrees. My goodness, that's cold. Um, the dogs uh, didn't really want to go out in the cold first thing, but um, they wandered them, took them around the camping car park and uh, into the little lay-by. We're parked in the Aldi car park now, which is just in the town. We went along to the Carrefour, which is about 500 yards up the road and filled with diesel. And uh, their Carrefour doesn't open until 9. So um, they've still got the height barriers up and so on, but the, the filling station's 24-7. Um, we'll come back to Aldi. The girls have just gone in to get some fresh bread and uh, some fresh stuff so that we've got things to make sandwiches with uh, on the road today. I did um, top up my fresh water this morning. Um, which was fine, there's a press button valve, so none of the taps freeze, it's in a post, there's a press button valve, so it's like electric. So you press the green button, the tap comes on, you put your um, clamp, ho your hose on the tap, or we used a watering can, um, and then you press the red button to stop the water flow. So, because uh, there's no external valve, I mean it's not going to freeze in minus six or whatever, um, but that's good. And also, I went to drop my grey waste, and the um, little butterfly valve is is frozen. So um, we've got a little bit of grey waste in there, but it's not. Yeah, you know, it's only just last night, so there's not much in there really. But we'll wait for that to thaw out and then drop that later uh, once we get uh, warmer climbs. Well, uh, Kev's just parked next to me here. We're going to hit the road, and we'll catch up with you in our next stop. And I've forgotten where that is. I'll put it on screen. <laughs> uh, sat nav's all set up. He knows where we're going. Um, but we're going uh, south, heading south along the A26. So we'll catch up with you a little later this morning.
Good afternoon. It's been a beautiful afternoon. Started off at minus six degrees this morning. Um, way back, uh, seems like about 10, 15, 10, 12 hours ago. Um, we've arrived at another camping car air in France. It's near Avignon this time, so we've been driving about nine hours. And uh, I'll show you quickly what it's like. It's very busy over here. It's full. I think there's two spaces left and one's just come in, so it's pretty full. So here's the entrance um, to the camping car air and I'll show you the board. Um, you can see this, uh, I'm not quite sure how many, how many there are, how many points there are. It looks like there's uh, 31 spaces and uh, we're just parked here right near the entrance. There was only about four spaces left when we came uh, a few minutes ago and there's still cars. And the late, one of the ladies, a uh, little German lady, said uh, this air is always full. Uh, electric hook up again. Kev's just going to plug his in in a minute. But, uh, it's a six amp electric hook up. And as you can see there's plenty of vans on here already. I won't go around because it's quite, uh, quite busy but they're quite pleased with this one, aren't we? So, huh? <laughs> I thought you were smiling at me. I said we're quite, um, quite pleased with this air, aren't we? Yeah. So sort of been out. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise yeah. yeah. you were filming. No, well, I thought you were smiling at me as I came in. That's so rude. <laughs> I'll cut that out. Yeah, a very kind lady. Come and offer to fill up my water. My yeah. little watering thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. My yeah. hair in the way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can't see very well because there's light coming in over there. Yeah. So you had a little so lady come there, up realized to you. I've got to put my card against it and this little lady turned up with all her water pots saying, come, come, come. I can't yeah. speak much English, but come. And she bought your water for and you, she didn't she? She bought it for me, bless her. <laughs> yeah, German lady. That's yeah. really good. And she said to walk along that road and we can get to the bridges, the viaduct. Yeah. There's a nice little town here. I'll put the name of the town on the screen. And... Uh, we're and going to be here for the night. Us, use us, the, the town where we can get some diesel from. Yeah, just uh, tomorrow, 10 minutes just up the road. Minutes. And then first thing in the morning we're going to be moving again. This, this is it, another stopover, this isn't it? This is pretty popular because what time did we get here? About half an hour ago? Yeah. About quarter five? Yeah. Unless, and then you've got a couple of spaces left. Yeah, there? there's another one just come in. Yeah. And yeah. the lady says it's always full. Maybe yeah. Always full. Yeah, I said that. Yeah. Mm. Right, well, we'll get, a, get the kettle on. Oh, yeah, it's just yeah, boiled, yeah. isn't it? I've used this because I'm frightened of tripping the switch with the Oh, so the blue etty's been on. Yep. Yeah. So I'll, I'll make your cuppa now. Lovely. There we are. <laughs> so, we could put some lights on, really, I suppose. Could you? Yeah. It's starting to get dark. I mean, it is lighter here than it is at home. Um, so we are literally on the south coast of France, so... Pretty much, anyway. Avignon. And Sue's so getting the tea things out already. And with that, we'll see you a bit later. Shut the Spain and we've made it to the sunshine. It's also a little bit windy. 